Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing a product empties video but before we get on into this video I just want to do the usual please make sure you've subscribed if you haven't already it means the absolute world to me if you're not new here and you're already subscribed make sure that notification bell is switched on just so you're notified of whenever I upload a video and why not give the video a thumbs up I would really appreciate that now we can jump on it I have got another mahusive box of product empties and I always love to go through these give you an idea of what I loved what I didn't love what I would buy again and what I wouldn't buy again just to give you a bit of feedback really I don't think this one's going to be in any particular order I think I'm literally just going to grab a product out and speak about it because I usually organize these but honestly there's that much in here I'm just going to literally grab a product and speak as oh, we go. the first product I can see in here at the top are these Lacura cleansing facial wipes from Aldi these were actually really really nice these are the sensitive skin ones I think these were about 50p there might have been a little bit more than that i really enjoyed these they really cleaned my makeup off very easily and they're really good for removing swatches and things like that that's the only time i tend to really use face wipes now so i would definitely definitely pick these up when i'm in aldi again i did really really like them like i say they were good then i've got something really random i have got a aqua fresh extra fresh daily mouthwash in fresh mint i like this it's not the best mouthwash that i've ever used i actually want to go back to using something a little bit stronger like this or something like that but it sort of did the job if you know what I mean. I've got a unicorn candy hand wash from Bayless and Hardin. I mean how stunning is this packaging? Absolutely amazing packaging. I live for this and it was a really nice hand wash actually. I really did like this. It really like formed up nicely to wash my hands and I would definitely repurchase their uh, hand washes again just purely as well for the packaging because I mean this in your bathroom just looks so pretty. Then sticking with that theme I've also got the shower cream from Bayless and Hardin and this is again the unicorn candy range. I mean how stunning is that packaging i really liked this but it's not foamy enough for me and the texture of it's a little bit runny compared to what i like i normally like a really like foamy shower wash but i think this is because this is a shower cream rather than like a shower gel if you like so it's not necessarily something that i would repurchase but i definitely would recommend their hand wash or their uh, bubble bath is amazing as well then i've got a facial cleanser by Emberlease. well it's their micellar water this is their lotion micellar i have literally used this all up i live for this this is an incredible micellar water it really really is it's pricey i'm not gonna lie it's not cheap but it's a really really nice cleansing micellar cleanser you don't need a lot of it but it really does get in there and remove your makeup i've got a box of the radox muscle soak bath therapy bath salt dalton lives for these especially when he's been to the gym or when he's at work because he's got a very strenuous job you tend to find that his muscles get very very achy so you need something to sort of de-stress him at the end of the day and he always uses this with the radox bath so bubble bath and he absolutely lives for these and i love them as well they really do just calm you down and relax you then i've got a mini dry shampoo by living proof this is their perfect hair day dry shampoo i love this stuff honestly do really really love this i'm not quite sure i love it more than batiste but i would say they're probably on an even playing field i just love the scent of this um, and how it makes your hair smell but for the price difference there is a big price difference and this would probably only be something that i would treat myself to i couldn't afford to have this all the time i think as a little treat to myself it's definitely something i would repurchase in the future because it really does just clean your hair eliminates all of those oils and it really does get in there and it doesn't leave that white cast or that white residue or the powderiness it's just a really nice product then i've got the nair nourish natural argan oil shower power cream i like if you're in the market for a hair removal cream i really like the nair products they're really good and i find them quite good for my skin as well because i sometimes get sensitive when i shave where i don't get that when i use this this one's got argan oil jojoba oil coconut butter for soft smoother skin and i did really really like this and i did find that i had quite dry skin before i used this on my legs and it has really nourished my skin a lot and um, so i did really enjoy this and it's definitely something that i would repurchase in the future it's not something i would look at repurchasing at the moment because i have got a couple of their other products that i'm in the process of using i was using it as a setting spray but it's basically just like a facial mist so this is the pure anti-pollution reviving mist with hyaluronic acid i really like this this was really nice it really helped to plump the skin and i just really, really liked it, it give your skin a really nice boost of just like 
plump, fresh. It just made it look really nice and fresh looking. And then I've got the Bayless and Hardin Skin Spa Rosemary Eucalyptus and White Tea Forming Bath Form. Oh, this was really, really lovely. I loved the scent of this. I had this really, really nice scent. Dead, dead, like, spy and refreshing and just really, really nice. I'm not sure they actually sell this individually. I think this only comes in a gift set, but it's a shame because I do actually really like this and it was something that I would like to repurchase possibly in a bigger bottle. Then I've got a little mini shower gel here from Soap and Glory. This is the Best Washers Spiced Body Wash and it's in the Naughty But Spice scent. I really enjoyed this actually. I didn't expect to like this as much as I did. It's a really, really nice, like just subtle, fruity, spicy scent. I did really enjoy this. I did find this didn't form quite as much as some of the other Soap and Glory shower gels that I've used in the past, but I did really like this scent and I do hope they do make this like a staple, even if it's something that they only make a staple at Christmas because I did really enjoy the scent. Then got a Radox Feeling Relax Lavender and Water Lily Bath Soak. I live for the Radox Bath Soaks bath creams whatever you want to call them bubble baths they're amazing they're literally you can pick them up for a pound they smell absolutely insane they give the perfect bubbly bath they make your skin feel nice and nourished and they're just a really really nice brand and i do really really love their products and i have um already repurchased some more of the male version for dalton because he lives for it, it really helps to relax him before he goes to bed then i've got another bath cream in here this is the cafe de bain and this is the one i was talking about in my beauty favorites this this is the sweet vanilla and madeleine it's like an almondy scent oh my god this is unbelievable their products literally just smell like you want to eat them they smell absolutely incredible i picked this up for a pound from b&m if you see these in b&m definitely pick them up they do loads of different scents and honestly they're incredible they're definitely worth a purchase i've then got the zoella moisturizing solid bath oils these were like little bath oil stars that i got in the boot no the super drug sale i really enjoyed these actually they remind me very much of the ones that lush do the oil melts that you throw in the bath and it really helped to like nourish my skin because my skin was a little bit dry and I did really enjoy these actually and it's a shame that I don't think these are part of her range all the time I think they are just a Christmas thing because I finally found something that I do really love from her range I also really loved the Milky Bath as well this is the Milky Way Bath Powder I really enjoyed this these two together in the bath were amazing so this is a moisturising bath milk powder with vanilla and peppermint and the both the combination of the two really made my skin feel nice and soft and to be quite honest with you like I said it's a shame these two aren't part of her range all the time because i really really enjoyed them then i've got a toothpaste this is the pearl drops luminous bright white pro shine complex anyway i like this stuff but it gets everywhere like literally friggin everywhere and it's bright pink and honestly I'm so glad it doesn't stain because it literally ends up all over the mirror, all over the sink. I don't even, places that you don't even know how it's got there, it ends up. That's the only thing. But I do actually really like this toothpaste and it does make my teeth whiter um, and I just really enjoy using it. So I have actually got a backup of this. <laughs> then I've got a little shampoo and conditioner duo from OGX. This is the Brazil Brazilian Keratin Smooth Shampoo and Conditioner. I took these away with us when we went to the lodges. I really actually enjoyed this and it was really nice because at the moment I I am enjoying my hair being more straight than I am curly just because it's long as it used to be because obviously I don't have my extension anymore. It doesn't hold curls very well so I enjoy having straight hair so this really helped and it really nourished my hair and I did really enjoy these. I do still love the argan oil one from them but I did enjoy this. Then I've got an empty of my trusty Mitchum deodorant and I know I can't literally talk highly enough about this. It sounds so strange banging on about a deodorant but honestly this stuff is incredible. It really does just literally keep you fresh for hours and it sounds so weird like talking about a deodorant but honestly i couldn't believe how good this stuff was the only downfall with these sometimes is this has actually still got a tiny bit left in sometimes this gets jammed the spray bit which they are quite expensive they're not cheap i think it's about three pound a bottle if it's not on offer and i had one when we were away and dalton literally had to like mess about with it to try and get it to work for me which can be a bit of a pain in the ass because they're not cheap but apart from that this deodorant is absolutely bomb and i definitely recommend you try it i've finally come to terms with the fact i need to say goodbye to my glow and ray powder literally today is not a good day <laughs> look at the state of this oh my god it is literally done for i have talked about this in endless amounts of videos 
honestly i really need a new one i'm gonna have to go on and buy one it's literally the only powder that i use now i live for this and it's literally look at this look at the state of this I've got the MAC In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash Mascara Little Mini. Really enjoyed this mascara actually. It's just the wand on it's a little bit too spiky for me. And I found that it did tend to prick me in the eye a couple of times. So for that reason, it's not something that I would necessarily repurchase. I've got a empty of my brow coat, which of course I've already repurchased. Because I literally cannot live without brow coat. It's absolutely incredible. I use it every day in my daily makeup routine. Um, and literally every time I do my makeup. So. I've got the collection last imperfection concealer in fair i literally like wear these to the ground whenever i um get to the bottom of these i love this concealer and i think it's one that i will continue to love for a hell of a long time just nothing seems to compare to it then also i've got the bourgeois liner feature in ultra black love this i'm not gonna stick around too long because literally i cannot speak highly enough about this eyeliner i live for this it's absolutely incredible and if you haven't tried it yet you need to go try it i've got the mario badescu flower and tonic mask and i really need a refill of this because this is incredible for when it's one of those mud masks it's incredible for when you're having problems with your skin when your skin's feeling a little bit troubled and it's just such a good mask it really helps to clear things up and i really do love it um, i've got another couple of packets of face wipes i've got the ps micellar water cleansing wipes which i don't think they no longer make but when they did make them i did really, really like these and i also do really like the johnson's face wipes these are the daily essentials ones and um, they're just a really nice packet of face wipes and they do tend to cleanse your makeup really nicely and they're really good at removing swatches as well hence why i tend to use them i've got the friction free shave cream which again i need a top up of this i literally cannot shave without this it's amazing this just stops you from getting any sort of irritation if you're one of them girls that does struggle with shaving and you get irritated you definitely need to check this stuff out because it's absolutely incredible um, i've got the little dreamers unicorn dust bath fizzers these were really sweet they were from home bargains i'm not sure if it's something they're going to do all the time or whether it's just a Christmassy type thing but they were just really really sweet and they were nice just instead of going to lush and spending an absolute fortune just to throw in your bath and then last but not least i've got the beam by sanctuary spa salted caramel and macadamia bubble bath absolutely loved this and i would definitely like a bigger bottle i don't think this was really the only thing with this is it come in a gift set and for me that 50 ml bottle is not really big enough of them um, for a bubble bath sample because to be quite honest you're lucky if you're going to get two uses out of it but apart from that i do really like it and i would like to buy the full size version of it oh my god can i breathe Ugh. right guys that is it that is all of my product empties i really hope you've enjoyed watching this video if you have you know what to do make sure you've hit subscribe make sure that notification bell's on and give this video a thumbs up and i shall see you in the next one Mwah. thanks for watching i really appreciate it Thank you.